Located on the unceded lands of the Silks Okanagan Nation is a garden hidden away. It occupies stolen land at the site where the Kelowna Sawmill once was and tells another story that this province needs to reconcile with. Tall wooden gates surround the garden, a barrier just like the 100 mile protected area on the BC coast where Japanese Canadians were forbidden to enter and instead forced into detention camps nearby. Here, the water trickles in the streams and all the other sounds are gone. The traditional plants are yellow, green, and orange, the colors of fall. The koi fish dance in the waters, swirling and circling. They are creating a painting together. The lines of the Zen garden make me feel calm as I follow the lines and swirls with my eyes. In the books, I have learned that many Japanese people lived here, building a way of life throughout the province and the Okanagan. There were churches, a koyukai and an abukai. At the end of the 1940s, a man donated the land of downtown Sawmill to the city. I don't know if it was really his to donate, though, and I don't think the silks were consulted. This small piece of land was designated as a beautiful site for a public garden that would memorialize the recently formed sister city relationship between Kelowna and Kasugai, Japan. In this space, I feel at home. But it's conflicted because many have lost their home, whether it was the Japanese Canadians or the Silks peoples who were rightful owners of this peaceful space. I think about the history of the Japanese people in this town and feel like it could be more presented here.